Hi, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can accurately measure light intensity by using ESP Home in Home Assistant. If you do not know what is ESP Home and how to use it, watch this tutorial. In this project, I will use BH1750 light sensor module to measure the light intensity. Let's make the video short and start our project. Before that, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done yet, as it motivates me to upload more videos. This is the light sensor I'm going to use in this project, BH1750. I have skipped soldering pins. As you see, it has ground pin, AD, OSD, ASCL, VCC. I will talk about them soon. Talking about the wiring or connecting light sensor to ESP development board. VCC, the red wire, must be connected to 3.3 pin of our development board. Ground, the black wire, must be connected to ground pin. The I square C bus is required to be set up in configuration for this module to work. SDA pin is the pin for the data line of the I square C bus. It is set to the default of your board. Usually GPIO21 for ESP32 and GPIO4 for ESP8266. SCL is the pin for the clock line of the I square C bus. It is set to default of your board. Usually GPIO22 for ESP32 and GPIO5 for ESP8266. In this project, I use ESP32, so I connect SDA pin to GPIO21 of the board and SCL pin to GPIO22 of my development board. Wiring is done. In Home Assistant, Navigate to settings on the left panel. Select add-ons. Click ESP Home to open ESP Home add-on. Click open web UI. I have one ESP32 development board. It is online. I click on edit to open its YAMD file and add the lines related to using this module. After opening your development board YAM file, below captive portal, paste these codes. By using these codes, I square C configuration is set up. As I mentioned, I connect SDA pin of module to GPIO21, SCL, pin of module to pin 22 of development board. Sensor. The platform is BH1750. In name section, you can set any name for your sensor. Talking about the address, by default it is set to 0x23. After installing the edited YAM file on your development board, if you realize that your sensor does not work, try changing address to 0x5c. Update interval. By default, it is set to 60 seconds. The interval to check the sensor. I set it to 10 seconds, or let's say set it to 5 seconds. After pasting these codes, click on install. Select wirelessly as our development board is connected to Home Assistant wirelessly. Wait till installing edited YAM file completes on our development board. Installation is done. I click on stop. I navigate to settings 
on the left panel, select devices and services. Find my ESP development board, click on its menu, I delete it. Okay. Then at the bottom of the page, on the right, I click on add integration. Search ESP home, select it. In host section, I enter the IP address of my development board. Click Submit. The device is found. You can set an area for it. Click Finish. As you see, ESP32 has one device and one entity. I click on it. We have light sensor. I decrease the light, wait 5 seconds, now I increase the light. You see it's working. This is the light sensor. That's it. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.